There are many reasons to use Nix Home Manager. Do you want to declaratively manage your system on other distros? Would you like to apply settings to all your favorite programs in one configuration file? Or perhaps you want to decouple your important stuff from the things you will be tweaking daily? Home Manager is the right tool for the job. We'll go over two primary ways to set it up. Regular user installation and installation as a NixOS module. We will use Flake for both, so if you are unfamiliar with what they are, please check out my video called Flakes Explained. To start using Home Manager on NixOS, we need to install the Home Manager package. On other distros, you will need to enter a shell with Home Manager for the initial configuration. From there, it will manage itself. Next, run Home Manager init command, which generates a flake.nix and a home.nix file. If we check the flake file, we can see that it's similar to what we've seen in the previous episodes. The only difference is a new Home Manager input here, with its own URL, and its nix packages input follows nix packages. It just means that it will use the same git revision as the main nix packages in the file. Just like in previous video, we have a set in outputs which holds all of our home manager configurations. By default, it puts our user key here as a string, but we can also write it like this, or even this. And just like in previous video, our relative reference to main configuration file home.nix is located in modules array. To rebuild Home Manager configured in this way, all we have to do is run Home Manager switch or Home Manager switch with the flake pointing to our configuration directory. This method will also work on any other distro, so you can bring your home with you anywhere. Now, before we check out our Home Manager options, let's take a look at configuring Home Manager as a NixOS module. This way, your Home Manager will be rebuilt with your system, but you are missing out on sudo less rebuilds and the ability to use it on other distros. I generally prefer the first method. Here is our NixOS flake from the previous video. We'll add the Home Manager input at the top, just like in standalone Home Manager flake. It also follows Nix packages. Next, we need to add inputs so we can access them throughout the set. We could just pass Home Manager into a function, but I figured it would be useful to show this syntax for your future configurations. We also need to expose it to our configuration.nix by adding it to special arcs. To access it in our configuration.nix file, we just add it to the arguments at the top. And now we can add the required import and actually use the Home Manager module. You could write all of your options here, but to keep it clean, we are importing home.nix file from the same directory. It needs to have the same structure as a standalone one, so you could just copy it. With this setup, Home Manager will be rebuilt with your whole NixOS system, so the command is our usual sudo NixOS rebuild switch. So let's finally take a look at our home.nix file. Default configuration includes a ton of useful comments and I really recommend taking some time to read them before cleanup. After some cleaning up, we can see that the default options include our username and home directory, our user's packages, which we can tweak frequently because of the rootless rebuild, our environment variables, like your favorite editor, home.file, which is a very great option. It allows you to link files from your Nix store right into your home directory. I'm personally using it for my ZSH plugins because I have a very big .zsh RC and don't feel like moving it into Home Manager yet. Home.state version, which is the version of your initial Home Manager installation. It's not that important for desktop use, I would say, but it can protect your critical systems from breaking changes while migrating to newer versions. Programs.homemanager.enable equals true just lets your home manager manage itself. If you are using non NixOS distro, you should also enable this option right here. To find more home manager options, write man home configuration.nix. There you can find all the home manager's options, their data types, and default values. You can do the same thing with man configuration.nix command to get your NixOS options, which I forgot to include in the previous video. Now to inspire you, some great home manager options are programs.git, so you don't have to stop each of your system installations to set your name and email imperatively. GTK, so your desktop looks fantastic and you don't have to install theme changers. MIME types, so your video and image files don't open in Vine. And also your entire shell can be managed in a home.nix file. You can use zsh, bash, fish, new shell, you name it. And also there is a ton of other options that will make your system configuration effortless and easily tweakable. Some of them, of course, are shared between NixOS and Home Manager. Migrating your whole dot files to Home Manager is also not far-fetched. 
On NixWiki, you can find many examples of people's repos filled with a bunch of Nix files that configure everything. And have you ever been dissatisfied with all of your programs being differently themed? Maybe you've even written set scripts that change configuration files for you. If you did, I have a solution for you. Nix Colors is a great way to apply base 16 themes to your programs. A link to its repo is going to be in the description. Home Manager might not be an essential part of your system, but it sure is one of my favorite ones. It's quite simple to use, so you can explore all of its options just by checking out the man page. I see a lot of positive comments on my videos, and I'm very thankful to all of you guys for it. So leave a like if you like this video, and if you want, you can join those 721 absolute giga chats by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.